Hello friends, my name is Anil Singhania and you are watching my YouTube channel EG Software Friend. In this video, I am just going to teach you how you can create neon lighting effect on a button using only HTML and CSS. And if you don't know HTML and CSS, then believe me, you can also do it. So I am just going to explain it step by step with live practical in front of you so let's do it first you need to create a folder so right click and here new and here folder and name my html you can type any name for this folder and now open notepad actually we have to create two files one for html and one for css so first open html and just save it click and save and just inside the my html folder and here the name is my html dot html don't forget to add dot html extension with it and here all files and save okay now go inside this and you will notice a html file is created now it's time to create a css file so here open notepad and just save it file save and the file name is my css and extension dot css so don't forget to add dot css extension with it and here all files and just um, store this css file into the same folder like my html and save okay now it's fine now it's time to code for this so open my html uh, right click on it and here open with and I am using Visual Studio Code editor for this but it's not compulsory for you you can use any text editor for HTML file now it's time to code so here I will use HTML and then head and title it's optional but you can use here I will use neon button as title okay now write here body okay now i am just uh, going to use two division tags so first uh, division tag is here and i will take a class and the name of class i will use container okay yeah. sorry okay now just uh, i am going to use another division tag so i will write here division and this time class I will use button okay and here I will type a name for button like button now just save it and now I'm going to run this file so right click on it and here open with any browser like Google Chrome okay it's working now I am going to apply CSS on it so open folder and here my CSS right click on it and here visual studio code okay first i am going to apply css on body so first i will type here margin oh, sorry zero then padding zero okay and at last background color black now just save it and i'm going to refresh the browser and here you will notice that css is not applied on our html file so just i am going to link this css file with html so here inside the head tag you have to write link and here relation a style sheet and here hyper reference just type the name of css file because both the html file and css file is inside the same folder so just we need to my css dot css and now it's time to save this file and here just refresh and it's working fine okay now it's time to apply css on container which is outside division so i will write here dot container okay here i will use first position absolute and then top 50 percent 
left 50% and transform translate minus 50% comma minus 50% here this code will display the container into the center of the screen now it's time to apply CSS on button so dot button and here first uh, I will apply position relative okay now okay first I am just going to use color color I will use here cyan for this and now just going to refresh the page and here it's working fine now it's time to apply some more CSS on it here I will use letter spacing and 15 pixel now here you will notice the space between letters okay now it's working fine okay next CSS is um, I'm just going to apply border on it okay here yeah, five pixel the first parameter is the width of the border and second is the style of the border and the last one is the color of the border so here yeah, going to refresh the page and it's working fine um, first you need to apply some padding okay so here I will use 50 pixel for this padding is the distance between data and its border so okay it's fine now I'm just going to apply font family and here I will use Arial and here font weight I will apply and here I will use bold okay now refresh the page okay it's working and now I'm just going to apply some transition so here I will write transition and here I am going to put a value like 1.5 seconds and here is some magic but it's not working okay I have done something wrong here so here I will write transition okay now let's check it okay it's working fine okay now it's time I'm just going to round the border of this button so here I will apply border radius and here I will use like 100 pixel and okay wow it's working fine and you can customize as per your requirement just I am showing you a live demo how you can create a neon lighting effect on a button using very simple line of HTML and CSS code now I am going to apply hover property on this button so here I will write button colon hover and here just I am going to apply box shadow on it box shadow and here I will write 0 and second parameter 5 pixel and third 50 pixel 0 and here the color of the shadow and here the style of the shadow okay now I'm just going to refresh this phase and here okay it's working and just I am going to make some more interesting element in it so here I will use again 0 5 pixel 50 pixel and here 0 and color cyan okay just refresh this okay it's working fine and one more time we have to just copy this thing from here and just paste comma and here enter and just okay now just refresh this page okay it's working fine you can see the pure neon lighting effect on the button and we can also apply some effect on text so here I will use text shadow so here 0 0 5 pixel and here the color of cyan okay now just refresh this and you will notice 
shadow is also applied on the button text so if you are unable to type the whole code then you can get this code from my website and i have given the link of the code in the description area and from there you can click on the link and you can get the complete code for your personal use guys if you like my video then please share this video to your friends and if you want such type of video then please subscribe my channel and visit my website if you want to create many projects with source code and if you want to learn C, C++, Java, .NET, PHP, Android and many more languages for free. So please visit my website and thanks for watching this video.